Hey guys, I am here with Liz Johnson and Liz and I have had the pleasure of getting to know each other over the past few months and I've had an amazing opportunity to really just get to like pick her brain a bit and learn more about the marketing and branding side and her experience is extravagant. So a little bit about Liz. Um, she is the president and principal consultant of Mountain View Marketing and she has 44 years of branding, marketing, PR, advertising experience and an additional 19 years of experience doing website and social media. So a lot of years right there. But um, Liz has had the opportunity to build and leverage a bunch of different engaging and effective brands. And she's grown businesses across the United States of all different sizes and different verticals. So her experience is pretty vast. And with that, I wanted to just bring her in today to talk a little bit about like, what is the role of your brand and also what that means so I'm going to hand it over to Liz to really kick off that conversation. Thanks so much, Carrington. I'm glad to be here today. It's important to understand that your brand has an external role and an internal role. Externally, your brand builds trust and credibility. 59% of all clients do business with a brand because of trust. It builds and strengthens your reputation and your presence in the marketplace. It attracts new clients, and it also helps you retain your existing clients and cultivate client loyalty. 43% of clients spend more money with brands that they are loyal to. So it's, it's very important. Your brand also has an internal role that many people don't even think about. A successful brand attracts top quality employees and exceptional collaborative partners. Statistically, businesses that do not have a successful brand pay 10% higher salaries. When you have a successful brand, it can reduce your hiring and training expenses. It takes very little to entice someone to come and work for a company with a strong, successful brand. Additionally, your brand creates corporate unity. It provides and validates your company's mission and your vision, and it fuels staff morale. So your brand plays an extremely important role in your business, both externally in the marketplace and internally. Those are some insane statistics. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing when you, when you look at that. You know, the 59% of all clients do business with businesses because, and with brands because of trust. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty significant. And 43% of all clients spend more money with brands that they're loyal to. So building and leveraging your brand from an external and an internal standpoint is really important. So when people are thinking about like the internal and the external, what are the first things they need to think about in both of those avenues when they're really just kind of getting started with it? Well, you need to build a brand that you can leverage that's um, based on your unique brand assets or value propositions. So you build a brand that really will resonate with your ideal target markets and that will accomplish the goals that you set out for your business. Mm -hmm. So it's important that your brand is structured strategically and it's visually and verbally Put together in such a way so that it's cohesive, it's engaging, effective, and consistent. Mm -hmm. When you talk about visually and verbally, can you talk a little bit about how important those two aspects are, both individually and working together cohesively? Absolutely. It is critical when you're branding that you have top quality professional photos to showcase your brand and you have value-driven, value-based, actionable outreach content. 
the combination of those two visually and verbally builds and leverages your brand. Mm -hmm. Not a good idea to cut corners with either. No, that's, that's a real thing. And I, I personally, I talk with my clients all the time doing the photo side and I'm like, all right, we can create images, but I need to know more about this. Like what's the copy that's going next to it? Because it's got to right. say the same thing. It's got to have that say like that same ooh value, but I also yes. need to expose it in a way to be like, all right, they see the picture and that's going to make them want to read the copy. So it's always thinking about like, what are those complementary aspects and how do you combine the two? which usually is one of those like a light bulb moment for people where you're like, oh, the copy is important. The photos also have to tell that same story. Absolutely. The photos bring your content to life with your brand. It's mm -hmm. really important for people to understand that. And your content is what drives action. Mm -hmm. That drives circular communication with your target markets and your prospects. Yep. Um, so it's, it's really important that your brand is visually and verbally cohesive, effective, engaging, and consistent. No, for sure. So if somebody is listening to this and they're like, wow, I really need to figure out what the role of my brand is, what are two or three things they can start with now to start really honing in on what, that, what they need to be doing? Well, it's important to determine your unique brand assets or your final value propositions, and then making sure that your brand showcases those visually and verbally. So why choose your business? What sets you apart from the competition? What unique assets do you provide? How do you give back to the local and regional community? You need to weave the answers to those questions visually and verbally into your brand. So your top quality professional images need to showcase the answers to those questions, mm -hmm. as does the actionable value-driven outreach content. And I will mention that outreach content is not narrative content. People make that mistake a lot of times. Outreach content drives next steps. Narrative content describes. They're very different. Like that is a whole other conversation to be had right there, just on that one sentence alone. <laughs> we probably could. Oh yeah. So if somebody is listening to this and they're just like, I don't even know where to get started, what is a good way for them to get in touch with you and start that conversation? Well, I do a complimentary consultation, so I'd be happy to connect with people and, and discuss branding and marketing and outreach and what's effective and results driven for them. They can reach me at liz at mountainviewmarketingllc.com or call the office at 540-675-1201 or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd be happy to, uh, to meet with, with individuals and, and chat with them about their business. Perfect. I love it. You can't make it easier than that, right? <laughs> Eight. All right, Liz. Well, thank you so much for this. I hope it was beneficial to a lot of viewers and we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much.